This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. Well, you know, it's not a showcase of the new EP, but it's the first video I've done with it since they gave me the game, so I have to put that disclaimer in there. So yeah, enjoy! Hey guys, and welcome to yet another speed build. I say yet another, but it's been a hot minute. Uh, last time was December. So, uh, as I can see it now, of the speed build, excluding screenshots, it's like 44 minutes, 21 seconds. I've got absolutely no idea what I'm gonna end up talking about with you all. But um, yeah, grab your snacks and all that good jazz and let's get into it. So um, as you may be aware, as those have been the only videos on my channel the last few months, I have been doing the Coastal Collection. Um, the first part was out in February. Yeah, that was the one. And uh, there has now been three parts released, um, so I decided to do a build for it. Well, really, it wasn't exactly a build for that for that set, but kind of like I wanted my current household to move. So we all, it's a win-win situation. I get to showcase some items, they get a new house to live in, and you guys get speed build and a house to play in also. So I would say it was a win-win for everyone. Um, but yeah, so my current household, um, I showed some screenshots of it on Twitter like a while back, way before infants were out when we were all doing the dreaded infant waiting game. And yeah, so now they've, they've had an infant. Um, she's got married. She was in this very, very chic, we're calling it small Parisian apartment, but really it was quite large. Um, I started her off like just the normal amount of money, but I made over the whole entire apartment to have like, uh, I think the Paris windows from Felix Ander. Yeah, they were. And I should have really gone into the lot and did that as like the landlord in air quotes. But I didn't. I moved them in and then I replaced all of the windows, which meant that it charged me. I got charged for um, for all of the windows. So yeah, it took a lot. It took a lot of money, but uh, replaced all the windows, did panelling and literally she moved in and the house, the apartment was empty. Um, so slight epic fail but I decided to roll with it you know more of a difficult start in the sims 4 it is a little bit too easy in my opinion to make so much money so yeah um I did that now I've got two kids just got married uh they have two boys and um a, t a toddler and a well actually still a newborn in a bassinet um but yeah, they're about to grow up and be aged up into an infant. And um, I don't think it's right that they don't have a girl. So <laughs> we're going to try one more time to get a girl. That My sim is going to be eating strawberries like there's no tomorrow. Whatever, is it strawberries or is it grapes that equal a, a girl? I think it's strawberries. I'll have to read it up. It's been so many years since I did that trick that I can't remember. So yeah, whatever it is you can do to influence the baby sex, that's what we will be doing. So in this... Uh, build there is um, a room for a toddler a room for an infant and then there's a room for a newborn baby girl so that's what we got in there there's also a spare bedroom so if you have any relatives say the grandparents want to come over when you have a new baby and they like just invite themselves there will actually be a spare bed they won't have to be in sleeping bags or anything like that so yeah um this is a very long one but I have had to cut out quite a bit of content so the guest bedroom you don't see you'll see in the screenshots uh, but you won't see the process it's very very simple it's just a bed in a room with a dresser you know it's very simple I've cut out all the bathrooms apart from one which is in the um, in the master bedroom I've left that one in uh, but I've cut out all the others there so this does have five bedrooms four and a half bathrooms it's annoying that you can't actually put four and a half on the gallery but there is so I've, I've put it as five it's five in here there's like a playroom like there are a lot of rooms there's a office because um 
my main sim she is a a trendsetter that's the one she's in the trendsetter career and um really all she has to do is just sit at the computer for like a couple minutes to stay and she gets 17 grand you know personally i wish my life was that easy but it's not so much um so yeah uh she that's what she has to do i think i'm gonna probably i feel like it's a little bit too easy so her husband is like just moved in with her just moved in like right before they got married so he doesn't really have a career at the moment i think he's i think he's in the athletic career i think he's gonna be like a sports person i think he's gonna be a soccer player and um so i suppose there's that to focus on getting him up the career that way and the kids and stuff but i think i'd like her to have like an extra hobby uh, so that's why I've put a lot of skill building things in here. I put, you won't see it, I don't show the garage bit that I'm building now, but um, there's like that fizzy, no, I did the ca I do the candle making machine, machine equipment, whatever it's called in there. Um, I did a wood working bench because I thought maybe the maybe the husband could have a hobby as well. You know, I always normally focus on like one sim and all the others are like, kind of just like I don't know extras but um yeah and and also I'm playing the family on a long lifespan so I feel like I'm about to turn it into a normal lifespan you know because there's just there's not really been that much progress um so yeah I think I, I might change it to normal now like it's been enough I think I normally do that and then so I can get onto the next generation a bit quicker and also I'm not really a fan of doing like playing with males as my main sim it's not normally my thing you know can't really relate not a male so um i probably would want to continue the family on with the female that is yet to be born so yeah we've got a lot of a way to go so i, th I think normal lifespan may be maybe my way of not becoming bored uh but again then again that I don't ever have time really to play this. I say my current household, I haven't paid in like a month, maybe more. So, um, but yeah, it's, they're, they're gonna like it. They've been in a very, they actually are currently in my Octave apartment. Um, if you remember that one, that one's from like summer of last year, I did it on the channel. Um, very bougie, a very, very expensive. It was like 300 and, 40,000 simoleons or something to move into that and you know that's just an apartment because it has a lot a lot of expensive stuff in it but uh this whole entire house is basically the same price so they can already afford i think it's 339 or something this this entire lot is it's a 40 by 40 five bedrooms four and a half bathrooms and it's it's actually i think it's maybe a tiny bit cheaper than the apartment that they moved into so um and it's got a garden like it, currently now they're really quite squished in even though it's a really substantial apartment you kind of you kind of just all they're all a bit squished it's all a, all a bit squished there's not really room to maneuver um so yeah it's gonna be good that they get to move into this place now and they're just going to have lots of extra space. There's going to be outdoor space. Um, I think I might have a little bit of a shock when it comes to me actually having to um, go up and down levels. Because that's what I do like about apartments is, you know, it's very nice to have a family that has is living on one level. So you don't have to go up and down um, all the time to see what the hell's going on. But... It was needed. They needed a bigger house and this is what they are getting. So anyway, yes, we're, we're on to landscape. We've done the basic outside. Uh, I didn't mention that this house uh, is based off of a house plan. Um, I found it. I can't forgotten what website it is, but I found the house plan. It's called like Newport style um, house or something like that and i totally stole it and recreated it well it's kind of inspired it's not quite full on a recreation but it's very very close to it um so yeah i just i thought it really fitted with 
the set showcased it really well was a good size for my current household so i thought why not uh hopefully later on in the coastal when the coastal collection is like finished maybe i'll be able to do another one um i still have quite a few sets to go uh, we have still got part two of the kitchen, which has appliances plus dining room. Then I'm going to do like, um, kids, a kid's room. Well, not kids. Actually, we're going to focus in a little bit tighter than that. It's going to be nursery rather than kids room. I think I would still maybe like to do a kid's room. I might bundle that in with like regular bedroom. I think I would still like to do a bathroom set. I still need to do living room. So yeah, the co as I said before, if you've watched any of my overviews, we have a lot of time still to go on Coastal, so probably another build will be required to showcase it. Um, because on this one, we've got exterior and basically the kitchen. That's, 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 you know, the, the Coastal thing. Uh, but yeah, you'll see me here doing the back. I've managed to keep this tiny bit of footage in. Um, the back of this, absolute pain in the butt. I reworked it five million times but from the power of speed builds you will think that I am some kind of building genius and I'm okay with that I'm okay with you living in a very delusional world that I'm great at this um, but yeah no this was hard work considering I haven't built since December yep since <laughs> I haven't done anything since December so yeah this was a, a pain and also I find it really difficult with these builds because they have that um like is it called gamble roofing gramble gamble gamble roofing something like that um they have that special kind of roofing where it like slopes you know they have it kind of built in and they have roofs either side of um like the the first story there it, it's it's yeah my brain doesn't necessarily work in this roofing type so it took a lot to kind of tweak and also there's just like the general limitations of the game when it comes to roofing that you have to deal with like not being able to just have just a tiny bit of roof coming out you have to have like a full tile so you can't put roofing inside it just kind of gets rid of it and all of that good stuff. As you can see now, by the power of um, speed building, we've moved on and I've miraculously finished the whole entire back part of the building. I cut that out because uh, when I originally got all my footage, I had like an hour and 20 minutes of footage. And I was like, hell no, I know I don't do speed builds that often and you probably are okay hanging around for a bit longer but it can't be that long that's a little bit ridiculous i think we've all got very very busy lives that we've got and we've got plenty of stuff to do so um yeah i i, I managed to cut out like a good a good half hour good 35 minutes actually i'm pretty proud of that um yeah everything unnecessary i kind of was just a little bit ruthless and got rid of it so um hopefully you can still get the gist of how it came together from the footage that i got left it's it's plenty um but yeah on to now doing the swimming pool area i thought come on now brinbrinton bay it's hamptons esque we need to have a pool so that's what i did i just put in this lovely little pool i've used the coastal collection fence here surprisingly i've had a few messages from people asking me are oh, is the fence meant to be in pieces the question the question does surprise me because has nobody used a debug fence before but yeah it's meant to be like that it's meant to be individual pieces um because i wanted individual pieces and i didn't want to have to make all of the curved pieces when i knew that i was never gonna need a curved piece of fence like that also it was very helpful not for it not to be a fence so that you can use it on top of the roofs you know very often there's platforms and you have roofing on top of these style houses and you can't use a regular fence for that because it roofs and and fences do not play well together so yeah um i wanted it to be individual pieces also physically impossible for me to make a mistake and make it as pieces instead of a functioning fence but 
you guys don't know that um, because you, you don't make CC. So yeah, just in case you were wondering, if you're one of those people, it is meant to be in pieces. And um, I find it very useful to be in pieces. So you can put it off the grid. You don't have to like have it on grid. You can move it wherever you like. You can fudge it a little bit in, in some cases. But yeah, um, this back bit, you've just seen me put in this um, playhouse. Still, I think, I think it's still like one of my favorite things I've done in, in this set. Um, I put it down there and I've kind of basically made all the landscaping go around it. So it's kind of like a cute little cozy kids area and it's not too far from the house. So as a parent, you could just like sit on the uh, porch out there, the, the decking, and then you can like observe the kids playing. You can keep, still keep an eye on them. They're not too far away. And then of course, also because, you know, toddlers, they, they take a little bit of a time to get places when they're still learning to walk. Also, then you don't have to wait for your toddler to like go all the way to the end of the garden because it's just right out there outside the door. Um, so yeah, it's kind of nice. I put, I think later on you'll see me put a paddling pool. I don't know if I cut that out or not, but there is going to be a paddling pool there as well, um, along with the playhouse and then the sand pit. The sand pit there, I put the small one because it goes with the playhouse. Um, your Sims can't do big sand castles in that, uh, but I I kind of sac made a sacrifice because I thought they could still play in it, so it looks super cute. But I end up putting in a spoiler alert. I end up putting in a treehouse instead of putting in like a full size sand pit because we kind of ran out of space. We used up a lot of space with the pool area. I'm not too sure why I did the pool so big. Just maybe so we look wealthy. I think maybe. Um, yeah, I have to say that when I put pools in in builds, I very rarely actually use them. I'm gonna try and you know extend myself and actually use them this time but uh yeah i and these pieces these um pieces from the grove set by felixander as well came in so useful very very nice option for just having a way nicer pool trim they look so good and um yeah they're just a total transformation the pool trim in the game is mm, i'm we're gonna call it less than desirable so um, yeah, I did completely forget to say that link is down below to the download post for this here build. If you would like uh, the tray files, it's down there. My patrons got early access to the build, so they've had it for a few days already. Um, but it will also be up on the gallery now. Don't forget to tick the include custom content in the advanced search options. Otherwise you will never find any of my CC packed builds. Um, yeah, the, otherwise you won't, you will just find my CC free ones. And apparently the last time I did CC free was like, I don't know, years. Um, so yeah, uh, it's all available and I have linked all of the CC sets and also the EA packs that have been used. I went through and did that whole long list. Um, they have like hyperlinks and everything. Everything is available on House of Harlots apart from early access uh, sets so far, which for me is just the Coastal Collection Part 3. And for Felixander, it's the Chateau Collection Part 2 and 3 is still in early access. And those sets have also been used in this build. Um, so yeah, but everything you need is linked. I do not tell you individual pieces or list where the individual pieces are. I always link the entire sets. Um, instead, because I do not have time to do individual items because that would literally take me 10 years. And um, yeah, I'm ho I'm going with the theory that most of you should have all, all of my content already if you're looking to use my builds. That's just my theory anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, I had fun at this point. I realized that I had no outdoor dining area and I was like, how can there be a house this big and there not be an outdoor dining area? So we quickly shoehorned. I got rid of some flower beds that were already here. I just just chiseled, chiseled into this area. We added this, this um, outdoor seating area with the barbecue and I'm really happy I did that. I had, actually probably one of my favorite things about the exterior is that part so um 
yeah, I was happy I got to add it in. Every once in a while, you kind of, you kind of realize that you, you, you kind of made some good CC in the past. Um, and it's, is useful. So it was happy. I was happy to use Jardine. I think I've used every single, um, collab set that, uh, Harlex have done is in this build. Um, so yeah, I basically was totally unrestricted with myself. I just went ham because it was primarily a build for myself, to be quite honest. Um, so I didn't restrict myself. If I got it, I'm going to use it. Um, but yeah, I'm sure just like the good old days when I would do it on Sims 3, if you don't have the packs, just plop it in, see what's missing. You can mend and make do and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, so in this room, this is the coastal collection part three, the kitchen. Um, and I've used the chateau tiled walls, which I was very happy with. I, I think they look positively delightful. I was very happy. Um, so I've used those in a few of the bathrooms and also in the kitchen. And yeah, I was happy. I was surprised I didn't use the oven from the Chateau collection, but I actually really liked these ones that came with uh, growing together. I just like them because I actually think they really go. It's coincidence, by the way, that they basically the handle on the on the oven is literally identical to the handle on my counters. It's a happy accident. Let's call it that way. The old Bob Bob Rossi happy accident. Happy happy. Wow, the Bob Ross happy accident. Um, so yeah, I kind of went with the happy accident. Just lean into it. You know, sometimes the the um, items they do talk to you and determine also didn't use any cabinets apart from just right around the uh fridge i end up using shelves the shelves are from the quarte collection the kitchen part as again everything is linked um i'll kind of mention things as i go along like where stuff is from but um yeah i use them from that and they have like this just kind of live edge on them so um, I decided to use that and then what else I've, I've just gone through and cluttered everything I done a few clutter items for the latest uh, coastal collection so of course I've used those and yeah I'm just this little nook area I think in the original floor plan in like the house plan it's a dining area I've seen like full interior like as a proper built house I've seen like interior shots and it has like a round table there, but I decided not to because I thought it would be squeezing in the space and we have a dedicated dining room anyway. And we have um, this breakfast island, breakfast bar, we're gonna call it. Um, so yeah, you can see like there's a special ending unit where you can put in your books and all your clutter on the island. So I was happy to do that. I did actually really take a long time to do the layout of this kitchen again by the power of editing and speed building. I can make it look like it was just effortless, but it was a pain in the butt. This is, it was really a strange shape. I ended up even after doing this thinking maybe I could make it a bit narrower and it would look a bit better. I just, yeah, it was kind of a weird shape. I really wanted to put in an island, but then also it was like, there's a lot of counter space. How do I put it all in? It was just generally, yeah, a little bit of a headache. But now we're moving on to the living room and um, this one, I'm I again a pain in the butt. I just think I'm uh, quite indecisive uh, because I haven't built for so long. I'm, I take my sweet, sweet time. And also I was kind of trying to get the right mix between rustic, coastal and also kind of elevated because as I said, my current household is in a, a literal Parisian apartment with amazing paneling on the walls so it's a bit of a change of pace some may say um so i still wanted it to be elevated but then also still homey so this very expensive modern like you have your generate chairs there um but you also have um 
more rustic pieces like stuff from the Orzhanik, all that stuff again. It was really nice to finally be able to like have time to build as well. Um, which is kind of, I'm, I'm, yeah, as I said, I'm out of practice and I don't normally have time to, so it was really nice to just sit and be able to do it, but I did kind of remove some of my off time, like, I don't know, I don't feel like, unfortunately, I don't feel like I can build for fun necessarily, because I was still building this with YouTube in mind even though it was for my sims I was still doing it with YouTube in mind like trying not to move the camera as much or trying to like kind of speed through it and I can't it's not really a relaxing de-stressing de moment for, for me um mind you I don't think it ever has been because I've always taken way too long to build but um yeah it was nice to actually do a build for once as opposed to always making CC but it kind of did take away from my time off not gonna lie um, I should have really just been doing nothing to do with the sims but instead I just ended up uh, building so you know just swapped CC for building for a few days uh, this one did take me like four days it's, these were not full days. These, these were not like back in the day full days. I feel like um, it was a bit of a big one to get started on. You know, five bedrooms. It's not exactly a small little diddy little, you know, couple hours and you're done kind of moment. It's a full on, you need to put your all into it moment. Um, but yeah I'm happy it's another it's another build ticked off the list that I've done so um yeah I think I would love to be able to find time normally to do builds fortunately I I just don't I kind of when it comes to my day offs I just actually just don't want to do anything <laughs> it's one of those ones where I just literally just want to do nothing I don't even want to go out and do something I just want to do nothing so um yeah, I just don't have the energy, to be quite honest. But yeah, anyway, we've moved on into the dining room. I have a slight confession. Um, I've done this voiceover in two parts. So uh, halfway through the living room, I, I did go out to go and have dessert. This is a slight confession. So <laughs> if, it, if my last tangent didn't quite flow on, you know why. Because I went out to go and eat. I had... Um, I can tell you about this now as we're in the dining room it's all about eating I had an uh, apple crumble I think this is a very British thing apple crumble so uh, it's of course like stewed apples at the bottom it's in a like, little ramekin dish it was an individual like portion and uh, crumble is made from plain flour and butter like rub together till it makes bread comes and then you add sugar in and then you put it on top of your stewed apples and you put it in the oven you bake it in the oven so it's like crispy on top um it's a childhood favorite of mine i really do like it but i've got to say the proportions like the ratio of of fruit to crumble weren't quite to my liking like i like quite a generous amount of fruit and there wasn't it was more like a little tiny little sub layer of apple to crumble so um yeah but there's like a local dessert lounge and I just mm, it was tasty there was custard also got to have a choice of ice cream which I swear on the menu it said it comes with squirty cream it doesn't say it comes with ice cream but I got to be add salted caramel ice cream so I thought I'd share that with you um, another thing to put into this because I still have no idea what the hell I'm going to talk to you about for another 15 minutes but there we go you know it's just just another thing to fill it out but anyway we did the dining room you saw before um I did I, I don't think I've shown it here uh but I did actually go back into the dining room you'll see there it's glass now the table in the distance I changed it from the Ozanic table was it the Oshana table? No, actually, it was um, this table, the longer version of this table, the shop, the look one. Um, I changed it from that to glass because I it almost felt a little bit too rustic-y. 
which is, as I said, I was trying to get the balance between having modern stuff, uh, slightly elevated furniture pieces used in this because of my household being like, you know, as I said, living in a very classy Parisian apartment. Um, so I just felt it was a little bit too rustic. I wanted a good mix. By the way, in the entire house, I spent forever uh, picking the flooring for like the outside porch. And then I ended up completely changing it and going for this jungle adventure flooring. I personally think this has to be my favorite wooden floor in the entire game. I just think it's like the perfect amount of rustic, the perfect, just, everything is perfect about it. Uh, I wish it came in more normal kind of wood colors. It comes in some really strange ones, but this one I thought was perfect. It's not too light, it's not too dark, and I've just put it everywhere. I've just, the whole entire house. It's also outside on the porch, so before it had like a very kind of uniform um, wood out there, but I changed it to this and I'm happy that I did. I was gonna use this new like siding that came with uh, growing together but it almost was it almost seemed a little bit unreal like the the grooves on it almost seemed too harsh it was very strange like um, on wallpapers you have something called a normal map and it makes the wallpaper look 3d when it's not a, a wallpaper is literally just flat and it was almost like the normal map on it was a bit too strong so normal maps like it, it just it had a weird tinge to it where the grooves were and I didn't really appreciate it so I didn't use it but, um yeah the siding is nice on the outside when you use it on the outside I think it's pretty nice and also I think I think maybe it might have just been that color it looks a little bit strange and I think if you had it in the wood maybe it wouldn't look so much and yeah I, on this one we're doing the little kids playroom now um I thought you know it's only fair that they have another play place even though they have like plenty of toys in their room I thought let's have another one where you can just put the two of them down uh you know where they are and you just leave them so that's what I was thinking um yeah so this little extra bit I've bought the outside in so we put like shingle on here as a feature wall and I put my favorite playhouse which is from eco lifestyle this cardboard one is just epic so I have to give like credit where credit is due when it comes to uh, EA items. And there is just some of them that I look at and just go, Fwah! and one of them <laughs> has to be this uh, dollhouse I made out of cardboard. They have done quite a few cardboard um, kids items recently, and they're just, whatever technique they're using to make them, just yes, just, just yes, it's just epic. Um, so we have now moved on into the master bedroom. Yeah, it is. Um, I use the same bed, by the way, in the guest bedroom. That one isn't shown in the speed build, but you will see it in the, um, in the screenshots at that at the end. There are lots of screenshots at the end. So, um, if you don't have time to watch the whole thing, I just advise you to just squirt skip through and uh, find the screenshots because there it shows every part of it even the ones that weren't included in here so um yeah I'm just uh, putting this together I use the Fayoun bedding um, yeah I highly recommend that set even there's a lot of Western items in there maybe some people are a little bit scared of using it because um, it's meant to be a Chinese set and you're not too sure how to build uh, Chinese architecture, but there are a lot a lot of Western items in there. So um, Yeah, I would highly recommend that that set by Felixandra. I think it's just it's it's got these sofas in it as well and They're pretty damn epic to be quite honest. Um, so Yeah, I just it's it's a recommendation available on house of um, Most of our stuff now on house of Harlix links to curse forge I, I would still recommend you actually go to get all of our content from House of Harlix. I don't recommend Patreon either because Patreon can be quite annoying to try and search through. So houseofharlix.com um, I recommend for both of our content um, and it does always link into CurseForge as well. On CurseForge you can download just like press download and download it manually like you normally would 
or you can use their app. I do recommend using their app. It, literally, you click it and it installs it for you. You don't even need to do anything. It puts it in the mod folder. You don't need to worry about it. It's a mod manager, all that good stuff. Um, I've gone through my latest ones, have the merge files. I actually need to go through and update the files because I uploaded all unmerged versions. And I thought, this is my thinking, I thought that when the infants came out, um, it was gonna break everything. So I knew I needed to update the files so that they were merged files instead of unmerged, because <laughs> that's what they're supposed to be up there. And um, so I thought, oh, I'll just leave it because I'm gonna have to update it anyway when infants come out. And then infants came out and not a single item broke. I still can't believe it. I was full on getting ready to want to cry, want to poke my eye out, all of that. And I didn't have to, not a single item broke. And I'm just wondering if they really did update it in a way to make sure that CC didn't break. If they did, I'm just gonna say thank you very much, made my life a whole lot easier. Um, I did actually go through that live, <laughs> I was live streaming that moment when the update happened, when the infant update happened, and I went through everything on stream and I was like, um, guys, nothing's broken. I honestly couldn't believe it. I really, I'm just like, thank you, thank you. I think the last major breaking thing was, when the windows broke, that was evil. That that moment was evil. But what else has there been? Um, yeah, that's about it. I really, I think I've got lucky. I, there hasn't been, I'm gonna touch wood. My, my desk is made of wood, so I'm knocking on it. Um, I haven't had to do any major updates apart from the windows, which were a bit horrible. I think at the time I'd, I hadn't done that many windows, so I, I kind of got, I was a bit lucky, but it did take a while for the batch fix to happen. And then when the batch fix happened, I did it, but I still had to do stuff manually because the batch fixes um, don't work for diagonals. The The Simsol Studio doesn't calculate the diagonal cutouts properly. Uh, so yeah, it ended up I still had to do them anyway. But yeah, you'll see I am doing the bathroom. That is the only bathroom shown. I, there is also a walk-in closet for the master bedroom that I also had to cut out because this speed build is so damn long um, that I had to make choices and that 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 got chucked. Uh, there is a, this room here is for the oldest boy who is still only just a toddler, but there's an ensuite here. I have actually play tested this build, believe it or not. It's, I'm not normally one for play testing, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm normally, once I've finished a build, I'm done with it and I don't care <laughs> anymore. But yeah, I play tested it. Um, the only rooting issue I actually had was in the downstairs bathroom, I'd put the new hanging light that comes with growing together. Um, it's the same light I used in, I think, the living room and the dining room above the table. I use it in lots of rooms. It's really, really nice. And it comes in this like brassy, goldy tone that matched with everything so um for some reason my sim couldn't navigate past it like they couldn't walk underneath that light to get to the toilet and i'm thinking mm, i'm not too sure that like you know it should be like that I, it just doesn't really make sense um for your sim not to be able to walk underneath a light on the shortest wall height it's not it's not made for a tall wall height or medium it is just made for a short so not quite sure about that one normally i think in all the other rooms it's been okay because my sim can navigate around it but in that bathroom they had to navigate underneath and they just couldn't they were just saying no can't get to the toilet and it's all because of a light so sims please can you fix that footprint so that sims can root underneath it that would be great thank you but yeah so we're on to the toddler bedroom um i kind of had a look for this in mind based on the current look they have for their bedroom so it's very much similar i have like this light blue color scheme and then we have another boy and i also wanted to do blue but this time we've got for like a navy blue walls i actually really like the whole navy blue all the wallpapers by the way um, on the inside, I went with the Octave plain wallpapers. So this is like the plain wallpaper that goes with the Octave uh, traditional panelling. 
but it just has the header on it and it has a very simple um, skirting board at the bottom so I decided to go with this and I um, you know it doesn't look like it's meant to be Parisian I, I like the textured wall I'm actually really happy I stole that texture from EA don't tell anyone don't, don't, don't tell don't, please don't tell on me no it's a really really nice texture I've forgotten where it's from but it looks really nice just a little bit of texture on your walls it kind of looks like it's um it's not called chalk paint what is it what is the textured paint is it chalk lime wash that's the one that's kind of like it was almost like a lime wash i think when i have finally eventually be able to like get my own place and be able to decorate it um I'm gonna I'm gonna be lime washing those walls. I love I love the whole texture on the walls. So um yeah, I'm 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 a fan. The only thing I think is missing, I would really love like a cream colour for the walls. I have a kind of cream, but it's a bit more grey, a bit cold. I would like a slightly like more warmer version. But um yeah. In here, the changing tables, a little bit of a gripe. Um, why are there no slots? Like, I think they should have made these changing tables just a little bit wider, like the same width as a as a chest of drawers, and then you could put stuff up there because every time I use a changing table now, I have to put like a side table or that shelf net. Like, I put the shelf above it so I can put some like they have like nappy clutter and and like general knickknack baby knickknacks in that basket so I had to put the shelf up there so that I could actually use it um in this room here like I, I put a side table next to the changing table so I would love it if they just if they could have just made I think actually you could make the um like pad that they changed the babies on way sh like shorter not so wide because they don't use up that whole entire space anyway <laughs> um yeah just so you could have some slots on the side and you could actually use some of the clutter that they gave in the free update also I, I i feel like i haven't said this enough infants are now here i haven't spoken to you in like forever infants are a thing right I, in overview videos i don't get to talk rubbish so i'm i'm just gonna enjoy it now we're actually on to the last room of the build I've managed to talk this whole entire time. Yes, nailed it. Um, I am a, a one and done kind of gal when it comes to voiceovers. So that's why you just get everything left in. I'm just, 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 you just, just enjoy it. Just enjoy my blabbing. Um, so yeah, this, I've used pastel pop in here. I was going to use this rug, ended up not using it. It was, I don't know. I feel like I would like that more for a teen. Or maybe a child not so much a baby uh but i used the crib sorry the bassinet that you get when you have a special baby shower event i just look i just put it in there i, I don't need to do, be doing these events i actually had my sim get married and it's the first time i did like the proper um my my wedding stories type of wedding and i oh, I did a bachelorette party. It was a bit of a, you know, a bit of a flop. I didn't do an engagement party. I didn't do any of that. I didn't do. A, I didn't even do a. I think I did a joint bachelor and bachelorette party. Um, and then I had the wedding. It's all a bit like click, 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 tick off the list. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, I feel like I have to do it again with my next next family. Like, like take my sweet, sweet time and do it. I was kind of in a rush because. It was coming up to a Saturday and I wanted to be all traditional and get married on a Saturday. Um, so I just kind of quickly squidged in the bachelorette party on a Friday night and then we got married on the Saturday. She was also like literally it had the question marks for when she was about to give birth. So um, yeah, it was a bit of a shotgun wedding. It didn't really need to be because it was the second child. It wasn't like, you know, they wanted to get married quickly. But um yeah, also I used the Panda Sama um, Realistic Birth Mod. Highly recommend it. Uh, we were in the hospital for like a full day and a half giving birth, but I think it was worth it. It was a whole experience. Um, so yeah, we're on to screenshots. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Links all down below in the description box and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye guys.
Sleep while dry. 